Here I am. Here I am. <laughs> it's me, it's me. It's just me, Gloria, Sister Gloria. Thank you all for the beautiful hearts. Hearts for Jesus. Always hearts for Jesus. And um, I'll, I'll set this back in the stand now. Set it in the stand. But don't fall off the stand. I guess I just wanted to start out. Yes, I've got when I'm ha when I'm having a bad hair day. These always work until I get something done with it. But anyway, again, I want to welcome you all to my scope, and uh, I've got some things to say. But I'm going to do the Lord's prayer. But now it's not the Lord's prayer. It was the disciples when they prayed for Jesus before he was crucified. But we can still do it, though. Love your lavender shirt. Well, thank you, Yvette, dear. I, I, I know I wear it a lot. I wear it a lot, but it's comfortable, and I, I do wear it a lot. So, okay, let, let's do the Lord's Prayer. Or let's let's do the prayer, okay? To, to, to pray this scope in. And, all right, are you ready? Let's do the Lord's uh, Okay. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen and amen. Well, I wanted to start out first by saying that sometimes a person is pulled. Amen. Sometimes a pull, person can be pulled in many many directions many many directions and the only direction we need to, to focus on is Jesus look not to the right or to the left but straight ahead and stay focused on Jesus amen stay focused on Jesus because so many people Yvette so many people have so many things wrong you know and Oh, I just want to just say so much. I just want to say so, so much. But I watched Jackie's uh, replay that she did. Well, I was on her scope this morning when she got on there early, you know, and <clears throat> something she said resonated. And that is true, too. And, and I've said this, too. We have to show love, try not to be harsh. You know, if, if we sound like we're being harsh, try not to be try not to be you know and we have to glorify we glorify God we are his lights we are his lights that are supposed to shine you know and praise the Lord hallelujah praise the Lord hallelujah like I said I've got I've got a lot to say and you know how sometimes I jump around mild tempered we should be yes yes Yvette mild tempered mild-tempered and some of us have a lot of things going on in our lives some of us do amen some of us have a lot of things going on and that's when we need to pray more that's when we we need to pray a lot more <clears throat> all right <clears throat> you have to excuse my throat okay I'm gonna I don't do this and I need to do this more often if I can get this out without knocking everything off in my tray here very carefully get hold of it <laughs> I got it off without knocking everything off Gail Webb drone well hello Gail I'm glad you joined okay I'm going to read this now you and this is in reference to uh, Ephesians chapter 6 all right it's like a it's like a prayer I'm glad you joined Gail God bless you sis all righty it's, it's, it's kind of like a prayer Heavenly Father, your warrior prepares for battle. Today, I claim victory over Satan by putting on the whole armor of God. I put on the girdle of truth. May I stand firm in the truth of your word so I will not be a victim of the enemy's lies, of the enemy's lies. I put on the breastplate of righteousness May it guard my heart from evil, so I will remain pure and holy. 
protected under the blood of Jesus Christ. I put on the shoes of peace. May I stand firm in the good news of the gospel, so your peace will shine through me and be a light to all I encounter. I take the shield of faith. May I be ready for the enemy's fiery darts of doubt, denial, and deceit, so I will not be vulnerable to spiritual defeat. Vulnerable to spiritual defeat. I put on the helmet of salvation. May I keep my mind focused on you, so the enemy will not have a stronghold on my thoughts. I take the sword of the Spirit. May the two-edged sword of your word be ready in my hand, so I can expose the tempting words of the enemy. Amen. Hallelujah. I take the heavy artillery weapon of prayer. May I keep praying without ceasing, so I am not deceived. By faith, your warrior has put on the whole armor of God and am prepared to live this day in spiritual victory in the holy and mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Yeshua HaMashiach. Yeshua HaMashiach. And we should read that every day. Every day. And I've, I've asked you guys before to copy this down. If you have to pause it, and I always upload these to YouTube, as you, as most of you know. All right, I wanted, to, I wanted to, to to read to read this because things are going to come at us, you guys. Things are going to come at us. Ephesians six, yes, Kimberly. Things are going to come at us. If it's not one way, it's another way. Well, hello, Annie, dear. I'm glad you joined. Um, I, I was feeling kind of, feeling kind of down, and I, I finished what I. I wrote earlier and I was going to go on earlier well um, I wasn't going to go on and then after watching uh, Jackie's uh, scope she did this morning push that broadcast button and I've said this before too when, when we don't feel like going on do it anyway because we might say something that will help someone encourage someone you know so okay what I'm gonna do I copied down a post from YouTube. I've copied down a post from YouTube, and it's it's simple. It it has a lot of knowledge in it, wisdom, knowledge, understanding. <clears throat> and I think I'm going to read it. Then we're at faith, hope, and love. Well, hello, Sherry. I'm glad you joined. Yes, I'm glad you joined. I'm doing pretty good. I'm doing I'm doing pretty good, and <clears throat> we will prevail. We will prevail. So glad to see you, Gloria. You are encouraging us and yourself too. Oh, well, the Holy Spirit deals. The Holy Spirit deals with us. And he's, Jesus has us covered. And we have the Holy Spirit dwelling in us. We have the Holy Spirit dwelling in us. And he's got our back. He's got our back. And sometimes some of us forget that. We forget Help is on the way. Join. Well, hello. I, I like that. Help is on the way. I'm glad you joined. I'm Pastor Gloria. Welcome to my scope. God bless you. So I'm going to read this. Now, <clears throat> <clears throat> excuse me. Not getting your notification lately. Really? Well, sometimes I don't get notifications either. I don't get them either sometimes. Thank you for inviting followers. Faith. Faith. And Mike Rest is in the house. Well, hello, Mike. I'm glad that you joined. Well, hey, hey, yeah, I'm Pastor Gloria, as you as you know. So I'm going to read this now. This was shared by now his. I think I've seen you in Jackie's scopes. Yes, I have been in, in Jackie's scopes. Me and Jackie go way back. Me, Jackie, Yvette, uh, a lot of us go way back. We go way back. Back when Miss Vicky was on too, and I also watched one of her scopes from two years ago on Facebook, and that kind of got me too. Is when she had her all her war paint on and that kind of got me too but but also it it encouraged me it encouraged me some of the things she said cool I've watched Jackie for two years now I've been on there we've been on there quite a while but yeah watching Miss Vicky you know um, it just she had so much life to her and you know she was suffering I still think about her too I think about her every day and you know we were coming up on the one year anniversary of, of her death on the 7th of January you know so 
and I st I've said this before and I'll say it again, I still keep thinking she's going to jump on there and say hallelujah, you know. But anyway, but anyway, not to, not to get sidetracked. We had been through similar things, bonded. Yeah. Boom, bam, pop. Yes. Boom, bam, pop, pop. Waited, I've watched her before she passed. Yes, Mike, she she did. She's been gone, well, like I said, it'll be a year next month. Time flies, wow, one year ago. I know, I know, it, it's, it's unbelievable. That's so sad. Yes, Mike, it is. She was a very dear lady. Very, she was crazy, but in a good way, and we all loved her dearly. Seems like yesterday, yes. My family and I were able to go down and visit her, meet, meet her and spend time with her, and it was awesome. I thought she just left Periscope, no. No. And, like I said, fun and spunky. Yes, she, yes, yes. And I won't go any further on, on that, but um, I do know Hallelujah Ranch and the Hallelujah Church. She wanted me to pastor the Hallelujah Church. And she kept saying, Glow. She called me Pastor Glow. She said, You'll be back. You'll be back. Well, I never made it back down there. I never got her address. I got her a couple of Christmas presents. I never got her address, so I guess there's a reason why, you know. So, but anyway, she was so fun to watch. Always made me laugh. Yes, yes, she was. She was something else. Her daughter is on scope sometimes. Have you talked to her? Do you mean Callie? <clears throat> Callie Rose. Yeah, Callie is like like a, an adopted daughter, but she dearly loved loved her. She called her mom. Yeah. She dearly loved her, and DJ, maybe he'll jump on for a minute, maybe, but, yeah. You know, things happen, and I just know that she had a lot to live for. She was an advocate against suicide, and, um, Knucklehead, one, two, three, four, join. Well, hello, I'm Pastor Gloria. Welcome to my scope. God bless you. She didn't have a daughter. N uh, not, not a, no, no, just, just like an adopted daughter, kind of like. I don't think she, no, no, she didn't adopt Callie, I don't, know, no, no, um, but anyway, I, I want to read, I want to read this, I want to read this, only a son, yes, Johnny, yes, yes, oh, okay, so I'm going to read this, now, <clears throat> I like uh, Dr. David Reagan, and he's, he's kind of like in the same category as uh, Pastor uh, uh, David uh, Wilkerson, I remember Johnny too, yeah. But uh, to, to those of you that, that remember Pastor David Wilkerson, he was one fine man of God back in the 70s. And a lot, and his, a lot of his prophecies are coming true. And he was killed, he was killed in a car, in a car wreck. In the early two, I want to say 2011, maybe it was 2011. I think it was 2011. But anyway, um, <clears throat> this was shared by Steve Mac 88. I've been watching him. D oh, Dr. David Reagan or David uh, Wilkerson. Just found him. Yeah, there's tons and tons of videos on there that that, that was saved on there. Yeah, and Skiberry C joined. Well, hello, I'm Pastor Gloria. Welcome to my scub. God bless you. Wilkerson's, yes. He was one fine man of God. One fine man of God. Yes. All right, <clears throat> have you read his book, um, The Cross and the Switchblade? I, I read the version of his son. His son wrote a ver the version, uh, talked about his dad in the book. I haven't read it all yet, The Cross and the Switchblade. To talk um, about, I haven't read the actual David Wilkerson's book, but I read, yes, The Cross and the Switchblade, uh, his son's account of his father, yes. Yes, and I'm, so I'm going to I'm going to get that. I'm going to get the book. I'm going to get the book. So, okay, let's get into this. I want to read it. I want to read this. And it, it has a lot of uh, <sighs> wisdom, knowledge, understanding, and truth. He predicted today's technology and lifestyles back in the 90s, amazing prophecies. Yes. Yes, Faye. Yes. Never mind 227 John. Well, hello. I'm Pastor Gloria. Welcome to my scope. I'm getting ready to read, read something or earlier. Yes, he 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 prophesied a lot of stuff back in the '70s, back in the '70s. I'd love some, love some meat. <laughs> well, this this is this is, 
So let, we're going to read this. Jesus is coming soon. Now, there was another one similar to this, but this has a lot more in it, and um, there's others on there, too. And I love, it, it hurts my eyes, but I love copying all this down. And he already gave his permission for me to share it, you know. And so if you, got, you, you guys can share it out before I was born, right? 70s, I couldn't remember laugh out loud. Yeah, he was one awesome man of God. So let's read this. It was shared, I think this was David Reagan's post, and uh, Steve Mac 88 on his YouTube channel, he shared it. So Jesus is coming soon. So let's, I'm going to read this, you guys, all right? I'm going to read it. All right. In Luke 12, 37, thank you for sharing on Twitter, dear Faith. Luke 27, Luke, Luke 12, 37. Jesus said, Blessed are those servants who the master, when he comes, will find watching. Will find watching. And now this is the NKJV, the, the, new, the new KJV version. But as followers of Christ, we are to live in a state of watchfulness. Oh, Yvette had to join again. We are to live in a state of watchfulness. Now, I didn't go back over and, re and pr reproof this, you know, proofread it, I mean, proofread it. 988 people. Wow. Thank you. Thank you, Mike. Now, like I said, I didn't go back over and proofread this, so bear with me on this. My, my handwriting isn't very good anyway, so. All right. I'm going to start this again. I'm, gonna st I'm just going to start it again, so I'm going to keep, I'm going to read. Okay, I'm going to read. So, all right. Jesus is coming soon. I'm starting over, you guys, so you guys can welcome others if you want to. In Luke, Jesus is coming soon. In Luke 12, 37, Jesus said, Blessed are those servants whom the Master, when he comes, will find watching. As followers of Christ, we are to live in a state of watchfulness. A thousand years ago, there were Christians living in expectation of his coming. They were not foolish to do so. They were not foolish to do so. They were obedient, Titus 2.13. And you can copy down these verses too. Copy these verses down. Titus 2.13 directs us to be looking for the blessed hope and the glorious appearing of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, our Lord. Those Christians from previous generations who lived in an expect expectancy of Christ's return tended also to be those who lived closest to him they were the ones most interested in his word in sharing the gospel helping the poor and caring for the sick if you're always on the lookout for christ's return someone will inevitably remind you that no one knows the day nor the hour but they are missing the point here they're missing the point it's precisely because we do not know the day nor the hour of his return, that we are to be watchful. In Matthew 24, 42, Jesus said, Watch therefore, for you do not know what hour your Lord is coming. Your Lord is coming. For 2,000 years, <coughs> people have been watching. That sounds like a long time, but remember this. God gave the first promise of his first coming to Adam and Eve. It took thousands of years, but God kept his word, and Jesus came. By human standards, the Lord may sometimes seem slow, but he has a reason for that. 2 Peter 3, verses 9 and 10. We're closer than we enter. Yeah, yes, we are. That's 2 Peter 3, verses 9 and 10. It says, The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some count slackness but is long-suffering toward us, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. But the day of the Lord will come when skeptics complain about God allowing evil and pain in the world. Remember that the Lord is not slack. He will one day stop all the child molesters, terrorists, and other criminals, and he will hold them to account. But he won't just stop the evil. He won't just stop the evil. You don't like, he will stop all evil. He will hold everyone to account. Why does, it, why does he wait? Why does he wait? Why does he wait? 
because he is long-suffering toward us. He's not willing that any should perish. He wants everyone to come to repentance. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. This is one awesome. And like I said, it hurts my eyes, but I love writing, writing these down. And there may come a time that we may, not, may, we may not even have our Bibles. This stuff like this is going to come in mighty handy if, if, if we're not raptured out. If we're not raptured. Time will come to turn, turn to him and be saved. For now, love and... <clears throat> Love and concern compel him to wait, but he will not wait forever because he does not want anyone to perish. Exactly like my son, God is giving them time to get saved. Of course, because he will let no man perish. That's why he's waiting. That's why he is waiting. <clears throat> he will not wait forever. Earlier in the same chapter, Peter wrote, knowing this first, that scoffers will come in the last days. Scoffers will come in the last days, walking according to their own lusts, and saying, Where is the promise of his coming? For since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of creation. That's 2 Peter 3, verses 3 and 4. In the meantime, he's exposing evil. Yes, he is. Yes, he is, Faith. 2 Peter 3, 3 and 4, verses 3 and 4. I'm convinced that these are the last days and can assure you that the scoffers have come. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I've been hearing this all my life. You've been saying this for 50 years. Yes, and I will keep on saying it because it's still true. There are no signs yet to be fulfilled before the rapture, but signs of the second coming are everywhere. <coughs> Since the rapture comes before the second coming, the rapture has to be exceedingly close. It has to be close, you guys. It has to be close. The big thing that makes our time different from any other is the existence of Israel as a nation and the Jews having control of Jerusalem. But there are other things unique to our time as well. 87% of end time prophecy has been fulfilled. Okay, hold on. Hang on a minute. Turn my pages. All right. Then there is nuclear. Uh, nuclear prol proliferation. I can't even read my own writing. Me, there, then there is nuclear pro prolifer prolif Proliferation. The Jews are going to reveal Antichrist soon. Did a sacrifice at temple location. Some people take comfort from the fact that no nuclear weapons have been used in combat since 1945. But that's like talking, taking comfort from the fact that you've been pr playing Russian roulette for an hour and no shots have been fired. Just keep playing and odds will catch up to you. During the Cold War... Carl Sagan, I think, or Sagan, wrote the nuclear arms race is like two, two sworn enemies standing waist deep in gasoline, one with three matches, the other with five, except now a madman is in Korea also holds a match. The nation of Iran, run by religious fanatics who see it as their job to create an apocalypse also have or will soon have a match in their hands in their hands next door neighbor enemies india and pakistan both have nukes russia has more than anybody and no one knows if their leader is crazy or not but don't be afraid things are shaping up as god said they would just be sure you have invited jesus to save you receive the yeah, receive the pardon purchased. Receive the pardon purchased for you when he died on the cross. He will instantly give you a new heart with new desires. Iran is revolting against their government right now, protesting. Well, he will instantly give you a new heart with new desires. Ask him to empower you with his Holy Spirit. Then remember to thank him for all these things in his power. You will begin to live a life that will draw others to him as well. 
matches. That this this is very true. It's very true. It is. It's it's like playing Russian roulette, you know. And we that's why we have to be as close to Jesus as we can possibly be. Baby Bear 45, John. Well, hello. I'm Pastor Gloria. Welcome to my scope. You can also go back and watch the replay on this too. But I, I wrote all this down earlier. I've got other posts too that I've written. I like to do that and then then kind of kind of put my spin on it. Which is which is fine, you know. Th which is fine. But I wa I wanted to read that. I wanted to read that. And like I said earlier, like I said earlier, you guys, we're going to be news isn't covering these things because they know Christians are watching the biblical signs. Of course, of course. Not everything is in the news. Oh no, not every not everything is in the news. No. Just like, just like something else, not everything is in the Bible. God didn't put everything in the Bible. He didn't put everything in the Bible. There are, there are many mysteries. There are many mysteries that we don't understand and we won't until we cross over. We won't until we cross over or until he raptures us out. We won't understand. We will not understand. People from Iran followed me on Twitter and thanked me for sharing the protests really the protests wow protests i mean our jobs is is to to win souls to jesus they protested on scope wow but we have to to be ambassadors for christ ambassadors for christ and i and i've already stated this no big media no but I've stated this I don't know how many times. I'm not no longer I no longer fear death. I don't fear death anymore. I don't fear death anymore. And I would not deny my Lord and Savior for nobody. For nobody. Me either. We have to love him enough to lay down our lives. And I do. <clears throat> Let me take a drink of water. And I do, you guys. Sparky Young John. Well, hello, I'm Pastor Gloria. Welcome to my scope. That I know. That I know. I would gladly lay down my life. Gladly. And I'm going to say this to you guys. There is none righteous. No, not one. I'm willing to die for Jesus. No better reason. Exactly, Faye. Exactly. This world isn't our home. This world isn't our home. It's just temporary. It's just temporary. And we store not up treasures here on this earth. Our treasures are waiting for us up there in heaven. Up there in heaven. Like the dream. The dream that I had. The, where the angel took me to heaven. Took me took me to heaven. I, it's, on my, it's on my YouTube channel. And by the way, that's Gloria Drummond. Jesus is the answer. That's my YouTube channel. But he took me to heaven. He just seen me. Just let me see certain parts. I learned that houses, earth are not our true homes. Exactly. Exactly. And people here on this earth that, that doesn't believe, they, they know that things aren't, things are different. The atmosphere, things are different. But they will not even listen. They won't listen. I've moved. 100 times life I lie, Jesus is my home yes Jesus is our home yes yes and but I knew I wanted to get on here tonight at least for a little while at least for a little while and just maybe something that I may say may touch somebody maybe even in even in a small way you know because I want to glorify my Lord and encourage and being be an encouragement to others too to not be afraid. It, it's not. It's not put, tr trying to put fear in people. That's not it. That's not it. Not putting fear into people. It's to try to wake people up. The things in this world. They're gonna. Pa it's all gonna pass away. It's all gonna pass away. There's so many things that I used to do that I don't do anymore. I don't want to be a part of this world. You've helped me a lot. You're a blessing. Oh, thank you, Faith. Thank you, honey. Well, you know, I try, and I, like I said, I'm just human. <clears throat> I'm not perfect, and you guys know I'm far from perfect. I've never claimed to be per perfect. I've never, ever claimed to be perfect. 
Like I said a while ago, there's none righteous, no, not one, but we are made righteous through Jesus. He knows we're not going to be perfect. He knows we're going to fail. He knows we're going to fail, but we, we pick ourselves up and we start over. We start over, you know, and once we make very serious decisions, it'll make, make us feel a whole lot better, like with me, when, when I had to make a decision, and most of you know what it is. We love you. Oh, I love you guys too. But once I made that decision, it, it was like a release, like a release. Because I know that's what we have to do. I have to do. No, I know that's what I have to do, you know. And it ain't going to be easy. It's not going to be easy, but the Lord will take me through. He'll take me and the guys through. He'll take us through. And I guess the most important thing is, like I've said this, I don't know how many times is to love one another, be kind to one another, and we all have to answer. We all have to work out out our own salvation, you know, and be kind to one another, love one another, and try not to be harsh, because that's going to turn people further away, and it's going to even just make things explode even more. So, you guys, I mean, I am. I am in a situation, <clears throat> well, my throat, but I'm in a situation, you know, where I'm in the middle on all sides. Is that right, Joseph? Yeah. Joe just come in the room, you guys. Say hi, say hi to everybody on Periscope. Hello, everybody. Yes. They all know, they all know Joe and Ivan because on my, sh on the shuffles, you know, but yeah, most of them, you guys says hello to you, Joseph, but most of the people know, you know, about the situation. I think I kind of got off. Mr. Connolly and John, I think that would be Sev, I think. I think that's Sev. Faze Man, I think. God bless you. God bless you. I'm glad that you joined. I'm glad you joined. Hi, sis. Hey. You got Faye with you, dear? Let's see. It's, it's about 11. No, she... Thank, and, th and thank you all again for the beautiful hearts, hearts for Jesus. But like I said, I just, I want, I want to come on here for a little bit, you know, at least. And like I said earlier, God bless you. Not tonight. Okay. Well, she's, a, she's a dear, she's a very dear, precious girl. Her and her sister, Rebecca, very precious, kind of under the weather. Oh, well, she, she's in my prayers. Um, I pray every day. I pray every day for, for all of you, for all of you. Clona, Clona Sec joined. Well, hello, I'm Pastor Gloria. Welcome to my scope. God bless you. And you can all, and also go back and watch the replay. I didn't want to be on here too awful long. Um, but God will take us through anything. He'll take us through anything. And I'll say this again. Um, I am under the weather, not her. Oh, you are. You are. What um, is it? Is it um, a cold or just not feeling well or I can we can bring you we can all pray and bring you to the throne cold we can bring you we can bring you to the throne okay we're gonna we're gonna bring we're gonna we're gonna bring uh, Sav to the to the throne right now right now thank you thank you all right precious Heavenly Father right now we, we bring Sav to you right now, Lord, boldly to the throne right now. He has sickness in his body, Lord, and we know what, what your word says. We know what your word says, dear Lord. And we ask you right now, Lord, right now, to let Seth feel your presence. Let him feel your presence, Lord. Let him feel your healing anointing on him right now. All through his body. Let him feel your healing anointing on him. And then he'll start feeling better immediately. Immediately. And dry that cold up by the root. Dry it up by the root. And we call it forth. We call it forth in Jesus' precious, precious holy name. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. We decree it, we declare it, and we claim it. In your precious, precious holy name. That Seb will feel a lot better. He will feel a lot better. And be able to praise you. Be able to praise you, your name. Through it all. Through it all. He will praise you. 
and give you all the honor and the glory and the praise in your precious precious holy name we love you Jesus we love you and we know that you are able you are able you are able dear Lord and you're coming soon and we know that you're coming very very soon very very soon dear Lord so in the name again in the name of the Father the Son and the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus be thou made whole brother Sav be thou made whole in Jesus name we pray amen and amen amen and amen wow <laughs> amen and amen praise the Lord hallelujah thank you Lord yes help us on the way join again my I love that when I when I just feel the rush of the Holy Spirit I love that thank you for inviting followers brother Sev honey thank you for inviting followers yeah, and thank you for sharing on Twitter thank you for sharing on Twitter and all the beautiful sunshiny hearts all for Jesus all for Jesus and I've said this too never to glorify me never to glorify me it's all about Jesus it's all about Jesus but I'm gonna come on here more you guys there's times I need I know I need to get on here I don't and I'm gonna have to start getting on here I'm gonna have to just get on here push that broadcast button and this this goes for all of us for all of you guys even when we don't feel like it do it anyway Gabby always tells me she loves you so much oh she's so sweet and and her sister Rebecca they are so very sweet I love them dearly I love them dearly and uh, she was going to send me, well, of course, if you guys are going to be moving, but she was going to send me um, her and Rebecca's address, too. Yep, they are. Yes, yes. I'm so glad that, that Faye found her mate, and I'm so happy. I'm happy for both of you. I know I've said this before, too, but I'm happy for both of you, you know. And But we have we have work to do, and I think, again, that's why that the Lord is holding off. That That's why he's holding off coming. To, for more people to be saved for more people to be saved because God is a very loving and forgiving God thank you I appreciate you and I appreciate you too I've seen I've seen a few of your scopes I haven't been able to watch them there's just so much going on I'm gonna have to make I'm just gonna have to just make time uh, Seb, to, to watch some of your scopes hon okay there's just so much going on as you guys can can imagine again like some of you that know me know us God is merciful yes he is Yvette yes he is Shalori's join well hello I'm Pastor Gloria welcome to my scope and God bless you God God bless you and so anyway I love you guys so very much and um, I haven't felt the greatest today either but I'm I'm pl plugging on through <laughs> I've kind of had it in my throat a little bit but it's fine I'm gonna be I'm gonna be just fine I I, I have uh, vapor steam in my humidifiers and um, I always vix up at night I mean so it's it's the weather it's the weather 50s one day 30s the next you know is it's just the weather just jumps all around you know so anyway to all who has joined I love you very much and to all the replay viewers I love you guys very very much and to my YouTube subscribers I love all of you too vix rules laugh out yes Vix does a lot. Vix, it heals a lot of things. It sure does. And for people that have, uh, you know, fungus on their toes, put some, put some, some on your toes. I forget how long you do it, but you, you'll see a difference in your in your toenails. Put it on the bo bottom of your, of your feet. It draws out toxins in your body. Vix, good old Vix vapor rub, you know yeah lots of lots of things is good is good that it does you know so all right well you guys i'm going to go ahead and close again with the prayer now remember now this isn't the lord's prayer this is a prayer that the disciples did before jesus was crucified so but we can do it we can still do it as long as we explain i heard that good good for many things yes it is mosquito bites too yeah mosquito bites too but you, but a person should also put stuff on for mosquito bites, and there's natural things you can put on for mosquito bites, like uh, lemon, lemon and vanilla, 
um, all kinds of different things, natural things you can buy that re that keeps the mosquitoes away. I've I've even got some uh, Bath and Body Works lavender lavender lotion for bedtime, you know, for, for for going to sleep that I rub on my arms and stuff before I go to sleep. You can even put that on for mosquitoes and it keeps them away. Yeah. But Bath and Body Works. It's the lavender bedtime lotion. You know, it, it's sleep therapy. It helps you to sleep also. And it's good to uh, uh, repel bugs, mosquitoes, and stuff like that. So, yeah, you know. So anyway, I hate to, I hate, I hate to have to go, but I, I probably should. Probably should. And I'll be on, I'll be on more. I don't know who all... Michael and Jorcy did did uh, their scope earlier today, and I was on their scope, you know. And sometimes we have to agree to disagree on some things, you know. Um, and not everybody has everything right. I just I keep praying that, that God will open people's eyes to some things, you know. And that's all. I'm gonna leave it. I'm just gonna leave it. Leave it there, you know. So again, I love you guys very much, Gail and Annie, Yvette, and Sherry. Uh, I don't know who else it says I have 10 on here so anyway let's do the prayer again and then I'm going to let you guys go okay and thank you all for the beautiful hearts hearts for Jesus always hearts for Jesus always hearts for Jesus not about me it's not about me never has been never will be love you Gloria I love you too sister Gail I love you too so let's do the let's do that prayer and then we're going to we're going to go okay Let's do the prayer. And I hope that, that, that you'll, I don't hope, I know you're going to feel better, Sev. You're going to feel, I think he's still in here, I think. He's going to feel better. You know, so, okay. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen and amen. And they all said, Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. So back, go back and watch the replay of, of what you missed. Like I said, I didn't have a chance to proofread my the post that I wrote earlier. I didn't have time to, to... Tony Soprano joined. Well, hello. I'm Pastor Gloria. And Tawanda joined. Well, hello. Go back and watch the replay. I'm getting ready to go off. Go back and watch the replay. I hope that it blesses you. Something that I may have said maybe can be like an encouragement to you guys. Don't ever give up. Feel better, Sev. Yes. Don't ever give up. Don't ever give up. And like I said before, too, God bless you, sister. God bless you. Jesus is just a whisper away. He's just a whisper away. And he'll never leave us or forsake us. Never. Just all we just ask him to come into to our hearts and be with us. Repent of our sins. I will watch a replay. Okay, Annie, dear, I love you very much, too. And you know what? I'm all the time telling you. If you want to text me, feel free to. Feel free to, sweetheart. So, but anyway, and so, and that goes for other people, too. You know, so anyway, I love you. I love you guys very much. So you have a sweet Jesus, peaceful night's sleep. Uh, we'll probably do the Walmart shuffle tomorrow. Uh, they're talking like we might get some rain a little bit, so we'll see. We'll see. So you'll probably see me on on uh, doing the Walmart shuffle, probably. Be blessed. And you be blessed too, Brother Tony. You be blessed too. So I love you guys. Kisses and hugs. And this this... This fairy nail polish is not black. It's like a like a deep red. It's like a deep red with sparkles, but on there it, it almost looks black, but it's not. If you look close, you'll see that you'll see the sparkles. It's beautiful. I love the color of it. Love you. I love you too, Yvette. <clears throat> you be blessed. Be blessed tonight too, and a sweet Jesus, peaceful night sleep, you guys. So thank you all for coming. Thank you all for coming. Alrighty, till my next scope. I love you. Good night.